Allahi, my brothers, my sisters, even the way we speak sometimes is determined by what we watch, a lot of it. And I have to talk about it simply because today, the, 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 the strongest company and companion you have is, in the case of most of us, is your phone. We interact with the phone more than we interact with any other human being, including our own spouses sometimes. So many complaints of people. There was a sister who said, you know, my husband comes from work and he's on his phone. He speaks to me perhaps for a few minutes in the day. He's on his phone and he just doesn't get off the phone. He brings it to the table, he takes it to the toilet and he does everything, just his phone. And I told her, I said, sister, have you tried talking to him, telling him, look, it's too much. You know, you're on your phone all along. And he, she says, he can't hear me. He doesn't hear me unless I make some content and, you know, come onto his phone. He might see me on the phone, but he's not going to see me in real life. So she decides some time later, she contacted me and said, you know what? We had a big problem. I said, why? She said, because I decided to do the same thing. And so I was on my phone all the time and he's on his phone. When he came home, I didn't even respond. And then when he started saying, why are you on your phone all the time? I told him all along, you've been on your phone and you expected me to ignore it. I'm on my phone just now because I want to prove something to you. And here you are exploding. Don't you understand? But this is a reality. Anyway, their problem was solved after some time where they reached an agreement. But in many cases, we are not even married. And sometimes we don't have responsibility to the degree where someone's going to tell it to us. Remember to control yourself.